Okay, listen up. This is First Five, where I look for games that respect your time and you can enjoy over a week or two. I played a game for five hours, and I'm going to tell you if those were five hours well spent. Today, it's time to pay respect to the king. DJ Max is back from the grave. Glory day. If there's one thing I love, it's a good rhythm game. I'm probably a bit outside the norm on that, but rhythm games have a way of putting me in a state of flow that no other genre can replicate. So when Granddaddy DJ Max, by some miracle, comes back from a six-year hiatus and a studio closure, and more importantly is on a console I actually own, I had to try it out myself. Bear in mind everyone, this is the first time I'm playing a DJ Max game, and rhythm game series don't really change a whole lot over time, so a lot of my observations are probably going to end up general comments on the series as a whole. If you're like me, and this is your first exposure to DJ Max, man are you in for a trip. This series has a very different personality from Western rhythm games. While games like Guitar Hero often go for a more simulation angle and try to give you the illusion of being a rock star for five minutes, DJ Max is more interested in the abstract mechanics that make a rhythm game tick. That abstraction makes the mechanics a little more detached from the experience, but also leaves DJ Max room to have whatever personality of its own that it wants. There's a cartoonish tongue-in-cheekness in DJ Max that's palpable from the very first moment you boot the game up, and the opening cutscene is all about the game series literally rising from the grave. That personality extends to the game's music choices. DJ Max Respect features a 147-song set list divided between new releases and old standbys from past entries, and it explores the full spectrum of electronic and hip-hop music alongside a fair number of rock and funk tunes. But there's also a ton of lighter, poppy songs, along with accompanying little silly videos of cute cartoon girls doing cute things, striking a nice balance with all the heavier electro and rock tunes to make a set list you can't really replicate in any other rhythm game I've played. You probably won't like every song in DJ Max, but you're bound to find something you can appreciate. Beneath the eclectic collection of jams and surprisingly well-done AMVs, however, DJ Max is a relentlessly difficult game. The game has high expectations for perfection, a couple of dozen wrong notes are enough to fail you, your life meter is painstakingly slow to refill, and I've run into combo challenges that require me to perfect multiple songs in a set list to pass. DJ Max Respect also throws a ton of curveballs at you way earlier than other rhythm games might. In a lot of western rhythm games, most songs run on a pretty standard 4-4 time signature with quarter note, eighth note based rhythms until you start getting to later difficulties. But syncopation might as well be DJ Max's middle name. Unusual and irregular rhythms appear early and often, giving DJ Max's songs a base level of difficulty you don't find elsewhere. But DJ Max's difficulty is also extremely modular. In addition to every song having multiple difficulties, the game also features four different modes that use different numbers of buttons. You can play four buttons on hard, or play on normal for a bit while you get acquainted with the six button mode. There are a ton of options to find just the right difficulty for you. The game isn't particularly concerned with holding your hand while you look for it, though. If you're just getting into the series, I definitely recommend you try Mission Mode to get your footing. Don't be like me and accidentally dump yourself into Arcade Mode without a single clue as to what you're doing. Mission Mode still doesn't have much in the way of tutorializing, but the game prefers to teach by doing rather than just telling you, and Mission Mode maintains a very careful and steady difficulty curve as it introduces the game's concepts one by one. DJ Max Respect isn't perfect but most of my complaints are minor and are centered around the UI. Those AMVs I mentioned before can actually be quite striking, but they're mostly composed of still frames, and the devs compensated for the lack of animation with a lot of really sharp camera motions that naturally catch the eye's attention and broke my focus on several occasions. It was also kind of frustrating to see an excellent spread of customization options for your UI, but then the one or two things I actually wanted to change, I couldn't. Most notably, the little max notifications that show up to tell you how well you hit each note. It's important information, but I just wish I could move it out of the way so that it stopped pulsing at me when I'm trying to read the notes passing under it. So, we need to get to a verdict. I'm really enjoying myself, but I wouldn't say I've gotten the complete, satisfying experience in DJ Max Respect. After five hours, I still haven't quite picked up the muscle memory to play the game without thinking about the controller in my hands and what buttons I'm pressing, and I'm just starting to truly interface with it and fall into that state of flow. To say I've only scratched the surface is an understatement, though, which of course means that yes, I would absolutely keep playing. Mind you, DJ Max Respect is a great rhythm game. It's just also one that demands extreme, precise mastery, and that means you're going to have to put in a lot of time getting good. It is time-intensive, 
But that also means if you're looking for a go-to rhythm game to sit down with every once in a while for an hour or two, this is a game that will keep longer than hardtack. With 147 songs, different modes, and about a dozen different difficulties, you're never going to run out of things to do. The mountain is as steep as it is tall, and it'll be hundreds if not thousands of hours before you ever have to worry about seeing its peak. In that sense, it's a good arcade game that will give back exactly what you want to give it. If you give the game 10 hours on the normal difficulty and then move on to something else, those 10 hours will still be hella fun. But if DJ Max is something you truly fall in love with, you'll have a solid go-to for months to come. Hey, I hope you enjoyed this episode of First Five. If you did, like, subscribe, or best of all, share this video around wherever you can. DJ Max Respect by NeoWiz Corporation is available for digital download on the PS4. Link is below. I'll see you all next week.